Hello, everybody. It's your girl, Inga71. But today I am Blondie and I am here. Y'all like my summer home at Martha's Vineyard? Look, the beach out there and uh, the nice sand. Um, it, I mean, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Um, I am so happy to be here at Martha's Vineyard. And uh, the weather is warm and it's just, and it's just beautiful. So y'all have to come and visit my place and, and uh, open uh, up in the Cape, Martha's Vineyard. You know, so since it's um, Martha's Vineyard in the summertime, I have to have the blonde for the summer. So, you know, I got to, you know, change up on y'all sometimes. But anyway, I'm here to talk about uh, this show on Bravo called Summer House Martha's Venue. This is the second season. Um, the first season was was very entertaining. But now we are season two. And um, so I'm going to talk about episodes one and two right now. Just a little brief summary. Won't be up here long. Just giving my quick thoughts about the episode. Um, so uh, on episode one, which is called Old Vineyard New Drama, uh, the crew is back together and ready for another summer full of fun and sun on the vineyard but a dark cloud looms over a dark cloud looms over a lot of relationships on this uh show i mean it's everybody got problems everybody got some issues um and and i'm a we're gonna i'm gonna go over a couple of things about the um the characters so you'll know um who i'm talking about when i speak about them so let me see if i have some some photos here your girl is trying to do her best to get the presentation together but so just bear with your girl let me see here what's the best way to do this uh okay so on the, my first slide here i have jasmine um yeah, Jasmine. And I have to get names correct. I'm horrible at the names. But it's Jasmine and her husband, I believe it's Cyrus or something his name is. And sorry if I'm wrong. But anyway, her husband, I do not like him. He's not here on this particular season. He was on season one. And I thought he treated his wife like garbage. I didn't like the way he spoke with her. I thought he was trash, you know. And but this um, season he's not here. I thought maybe he wasn't there because they would got a divorce. And I sure would have been happy if she had reported that they were getting a divorce. But instead, she says that he got deployed because he's in the um, I guess the reserves, I believe, and he got deployed overseas. So she's um, at the summer house with all her friends without her husband. And to be honest with you, I am so glad not to see him because he pissed me off um, during season one. He was uh, just rude and disrespectful in the way he yelled and talked down to his wife. And I mean, but I ain't going to spend no time on him because he is a clown. So, and we won't see him uh, because he's away um, serving his time in the military. Um, and so, there's another picture of them. Okay. And, and that's also Jasmine again. Okay. And here we have Amir. Um, he's one of the cast mates of friends of everyone. Um, I think, th believe her name is Bria. I think it is. And this is Jordan. Uh, this is, let me see, what is her name? Little child, I can't remember everybody's name, but um, she, Shanice, I believe her name is. Okay, um, this is uh, not Preston. It's um, yes, Preston. I'm sorry, his name is Preston. Um, and let's see, um, this gentleman here. Um, his name is 
Let's see. Oh, I uh, I I can't remember his name right offhand. And this is a new um uh castmate. Her name is Noel. Uh, this is Summer. This is Alex. Okay, I believe his name is Nick. I believe his Nick. Okay, I think I got everybody right. So, uh, but y'all can look it up. Just watch the show. But anyway, um. So on the first uh episode, um the first the first uh episode of season two, and they said the crew is back together and ready for another summer full of fun and sun. Um, but a dark cloud forms over Jasmine. Let me go back to Jasmine. Uh dark cloud fall, um looms over Jasmine and Jordan, and this is Jordan. And their re, um their friendship, Jordan and Jasmine have not really been cool since last season. Um, there was issues with um jo Jordan right here had issues with Jasmine's husband, and it was a whole just a lot of issues, and so they just sort of fell off from each other. So they hadn't been really friends. So they trying to I guess repair their friendship, and then you have Preston right here he deals with some old and suppressed emotions because um his father who he did not have a re good relationship with actually had no relationship with his father and his father um has now passed away and he didn't have a good relationship with him and um so he's just dealing with that and i i can relate to that particularly with my own son when his dad he didn't they didn't have a good relationship dad wasn't really there for him wasn't really in his life um that much and then when his dad passed away my son you know he had a whole lot of mixed emotions it was anger and hurt and pain and sorrow he had it all he had all the emotions and it was hard you know as a mother helping him navigate through that and he's still struggling with it and his father's been gone for quite a few years now but and Preston is now going through that very same thing so I can kind of understand um, what he's going through. Um, and this says, uh, um, okay. And so in the first episode, they decide to have a seafood boil with, of crabs and, um, lobsters and all that. And they just had like big back and forth arguments going on. That's pretty much what they do on this show. Just like all these reality shows It's always some kind of conflict. You know, I'm not of uh, them not getting along for one reason or another, but um, but they sit around and have a seafood ball, and then a lot of a, a lot of things just hit the fan. A lot of things just started coming out, and um, and you know, and that's how it is with a lot of time with these friendships. Um, and then um, it turns out that uh, let's see, uh. Let me see what's her name right here. Um, Summer and Alex, they had apparently hooked up, and we didn't see that because they said it happened when they was in New York. Um, and I guess I think they both live in New York, and they uh, they hooked up and had a little intertwine. And now Summer's feelings are hurt, and because she feels like Alex had just dismissed her. Um, he feels that she was getting too clingy and, and she almost became like a stalker. So he just went not feeling her and she thinks he's just a weirdo, but so they just, right now they're going back and forth about that. And, um, so it's one thing or another with them. Uh, she's new to the group, so she's not problematic yet, but you know how every time there's somebody, there's always a problematic person on all of these reality shows. So right now she's brand new. So we don't know her yet. So she's not problematic. Um, this guy here, uh, Nick, he, um, he's, he, he's doing too much. He's drinking too much. He's, I think just problematic as far as when he gets drunk, he gets too handsy with the women, you know, the hugs and the grabbing and just being on top of them. You know what I'm saying? Just, he just 
he's just doing too much. And the women don't want a man grabbing all over them all the time, grabbing on their backside, it kissing them in their face. Well, I don't really think he's kissing them, but he just it's just touchy feely, just very creepy vibes. And he has a girlfriend. He has a daggone girlfriend, but she's not there. I think she is going to come and meet them there um, later on. But she, um, he has a girlfriend, but it, it only happens when he drinks a lot. And he drinks a lot. As soon as he gets up in the morning, he's drinking beers, taking shots. He's just drinking, drinking, drinking. And while he's drinking and getting drunk, he's being too touchy-feely and creepy with the women. And they're not liking it. Um. Okay, and let's see. And then, like, toward episode two, we still talking about the same things. And they said um, the issues remain between Alex and Summer. Those are the two I said that had... Um, see, there's Summer, here's Alex. The, the, they still have a conflict going on. And things start to get a little bit of flirtatious between Alex and Noel. So here's Noel. That's the new girl who's here. So Alex and Noel, you know, I guess they're going to start being, you know, flirt, flirting with each other. But I think, I believe that she's going to see it through Alex that he's a BS. Um, artist and gaslighter, and she's gonna see the he's trash. So, um, it's it's all gonna come out, but she she's new, so she don't know yet. Um, and then Shawnice, she gets upset. She gets upset because they was playing a joke. They was playing a game. You know how like you pick questions and you um ask everybody questions, and they was all sitting around drinking and having a good time and. Um, dancing and stuff, and um, and in the midst of, uh, of the game, one of the questions was, "Who's the best?" There's twelve of them in the house, so it's a big, huge house. And in the midst of the game, they said, "Well, who's the who do y'all think is the best dresser of the group? Who can dress the best? Who has the best style?" And um, oh, he has the worst style. Let me correct that. Maybe who has the worst style? And they said. Well, Summer then said that Shanice has the worst style. And she was not feeling that. I mean, she, she got upset. She got angry at her friend. Um, she got angry at uh, Summer. And this is who Summer is. So Shanice got angry at Summer because she said she knows my story. She knows what I'm, what I'm going through because apparently she, her job moved her from, I think, New York to um Tampa, Florida. And then when she gets down to Tampa, she ended up getting fired. So she's out of work, don't have no money. And all the reason why she came on the trip, because the trip was already pre-planned. So she just had to go, you know, plus this is Bravo. They probably pay for her to come and all that. So anyway, but, um, but they don't say that, uh, but, but we know that's how it works. But anyway, she said that, um, she she don't have money to buy a uh any clothes and that's why she might be the worst dresser but this girl here is never got no clothes on so i don't know how she not the how she the worst dress because she don't even dress most of the time she walking around naked she's nude showing her breasts showing her backside when she got a bathing suit on it's not covered anything it's a g-string all going up her backside so she just looks skanky to me. So maybe that's why they say she's the worst dress because she don't never have clothes on. You know, so she got upset and got in tears about that. Um, and, then, okay, so uh, it said, as far as Nick is concerned, uh, they were, uh, everyone's going at Nick because he's just a little too friendly. Little, uh, the friendly gesture gets, uh, they say gets misconstrued, but I mean, he's drinking. And when you're drinking and acting like a fool, uh, you know, you do things that you don't even remember. Grabbing up on women, women don't want that. You know what I'm saying? We don't mind a man um, touching us when we want it. And and trust me, um, fellas, y'all know when we want it. But because we'll let y'all know, we'll show it to you, we'll tell you. But this guy's just being too touchy feeling for no reason, and um, and and the girls are not having it. The girls are not having it. So um, this is going to be an interesting uh, 
an interesting show, interesting summer with them. Uh, even though it's not summertime, but the show was on. It'd been probably good if it was during the summer and the show was on. Um, but we we watching it now, and uh, this is just a, my quick little thoughts. I like the show. I'm going to continue to watch. I liked season one. I thought it was different. You know, we always see the housewives. And we see all these other shows, Married to Men's and all the other shows. But I thought this was different because usually when they show these shows, it's never a group of African-Americans. And these are all African-Americans that have great jobs. Actually, not just a job. They have careers. They are doing well. Most of them doing very well. And they um, and, and they, they get together and they just have fun. They're drinking and, and it's like a... You know, like you do when you get together with your friends. Um, I didn't talk about this girl, Bria. She's crazy. <laughs> I was gonna say something else. She's just, she she bashy crazy. Okay, she's crazy, and this is her um support animal, Milo. Who Milo is part of the family. The season one, he got on everybody's last nerve, um, because they wasn't expecting her to show up with a dog, but now they're used to him now. So, um. And he might be a little more, more well trained than he was in season one, and uh, she doesn't go anywhere without this dog. The dog is when they eating dinner. Dog sitting up there at the table too. I mean, you know, sitting there. He's always nearby. He's always around. So, but trust me, she's problematic. She's always crying, always arguing with somebody. At least season one, she did. As a matter of fact, the first episode uh, of uh, the first episode of this season, season two. She was getting into it with uh with my man Preston, you know. And Preston just said got tired of her, and just he he pretty much laid her out. You know what I'm saying? To say I'm sick of you, you know. Go he said go somewhere and go cry. And I'm gonna sit here and keep eat my crab legs and my lobster. So he just wasn't having it with her. So you know, but I think this is a good show. I think y'all should check it out. I know I'm not get, probably going into the real depth of the show but i'm just you know talking and showing who the people are and um i will continue to watch it and um i will probably come back and do more uh episodes um each week i don't i might you know just little short bits just talking about it so um oh wait a minute let me go back okay there i am there i um here my mouth is vineyard see yeah. Well, anyway, you guys have a good evening. Please check out this show, though. I really do. If you like reality shows, if you like the Bravo shows, I think this is a good one. Seeing, you know, black people with nice careers doing well for themselves, and they all get together. There's a group of friends. They are actually real friends, real life friends. They're not made up for the show like some of the other shows where they just throw people together who are not really friends. These people are really, really friends. And they showing their ups and downs and conflicts and different things. And oh, and one thing I did forget to mention was about Jasmine. She had, yeah, Jasmine had said she was going to stop drinking. Well, she hadn't been drinking, right? And everybody suspected she pregnant. Where it turns out, I saw that on social media that she was pregnant. I think she had the baby now. Yeah, so her and her husband so i think believe they had the baby i saw it has a, um a spread in people's magazine so they had a baby but on but at this time no one knows yet that she's pregnant and she's just going through a lot because her husband is deployed and you know but i hope he comes back uh she said they were going to continue to go through therapy he definitely needs therapy because he is he's just very disrespectful at least hopefully he changed because last season I wanted to jump through my own TV and punch him in the face. So anyway, um, and I'm trying to think of anything else that I might have forgotten or got to say. Let's see. Oh, I didn't mention Amir. Amir has a girlfriend and she's a you know white woman, and that's no surprise because I mean, one, he's he's biracial, but that's not the reason, it's just Last season, we could tell that he probably was into the white girls. I mean, I, I, it didn't just don't shock me. And I think we're going to want to see her. We did see some clips uh, and pictures that they showed of his girlfriend. But I think she's going to show up at some point. And, um, you know, she might end up being um, an issue. So, Because they already say they don't like her. The girls are already 
said that they don't like his girlfriend, that she's standoffish and stuck up and everything. So, you know, this is just the beginning. This is up, like I said, this is uh, episodes one and two. So we'll see how it all plays out. But, uh, but uh, thank y'all for letting me talk and ramble. Listen, you know, thanks for listening to me. Let me, you know, just rambling on. And um, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna put up next. Um, I think the next thing would probably be uh, my BMF thoughts. I don't know if I'll do a recorded or a live. I like doing live because I get to talk with the people and just chit chat. So I uh, it might it might end up being a live. So. I, um, so just, um, look for that. That'll be at, you know, end of the week, you know, probably like Friday or something like that. I'm not really sure which day, but it'll be up there. Oh, and one thing I am doing, I'm, I'm collabing with, um, Miss Kara Speaks and also Shanna. And we are going to be on Sunday at 4 p.m. We're going to be doing, um, going to be discussing the reunion of ready to love, which is a own a show and owns a dating show. And this, you know, um, I don't know why they call it a dating show. Cause child don't nobody get together and be doing nothing on there, but it's, it, it's always a bunch of mess. Very, very few people end up getting together and staying together on that show. But just like any of these other dating shows, that's what they do. They're all African-Americans and, um, with careers and whatnot. And, it's a dating show. So anyway, it's the reunion season nine, um, season nine reunion. We're doing that on Sunday, I believe at 4 PM, but it's already up on my page so you can see it. So if you're into ready to love and you want to discuss the mess with me and my two, um, friends, uh, please come on back on Sunday. So you'll see me, um, I'll be around and I also have, uh, a BMF, um, a review with um Moochie, EJ, Tamika, um, and, and Monique Nicole. But so you'll see it. That's um up there now. So I, you know, you'll see your girl at least probably one or two times this week. And I'll be popping in. And then of course I have some shorts. And I'll continue to keep doing those. I like the shorts. So anyway, y'all have a good night. Your girl's gonna get some rest. I am tired. And because I got a long day at work tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. Bye.